hello everyone and welcome to my channel welcome back my brothers and sisters i greet you all in the precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ this is minister May. i am here today to share the word of god today i just want to read the word of god and i pray as i read it I receive wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and clarity of his word. I read the scripture and, you know, tears came to my eyes because the word of God is so powerful. The word of God is so real. And as we look around in the world and we see so much that is happening, so much that is going on, and brothers and sisters, I just want to read the scripture in our hearing today. And I want you in your spare time that you would go and get the scripture and you would read it for yourself. And you would pray and ask God for wisdom and for understanding of his word. So I'm just going to read it for us today. Please, my brothers and sisters, bear with me. I don't know if it's my glasses, but um, I need these. Without these glasses, I everything is blurry to me. So I pray um, for the Holy Spirit to just give me the insight and the wisdom and the knowledge that I need. Because um, if I take these off, I can't see anything. I just see in blurry. But I thank God for His Word today. That healing is my portion. Healing is your portion. Healing is the children's bread. And he sent his son to die. That by his stripes we are healed. So we believe in our healing today. And as I sat here and I began to read this word. And I was like, Lord, this word is so powerful. I must read it in the hearing of your people, your children. We are reading today from St. Mark's Gospel. St. Mark's Gospel, chapter 13. And I'm going to take my time and do my best, and I'm going to read it. And like I say, in your time, when you have time, just sit down and read this, this powerful word, this, this mighty God. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And we can read His Word today, because He is His Word. In St. Mark's Gospel, chapter 13, reading from verse 1, and I'm reading this whole chapter from verse 1 to verses 37. To verses 37 and I'm going to take my time and I'm going to read for us today I'm not going to elaborate I'm just going to read the Word of God in our hearing today and when you get some time I want you to go and read this word for yourself and ask the Holy Spirit to download to give you the wisdom give you the knowledge and give you the understanding of what you need to take from this word today tonight this afternoon in jesus name i just want to say a quick prayer father in the mighty name of jesus christ i give you praise and honor and glory i thank you mighty god for your word today for you are your word and you said your word cannot lie your word will not return unto you void so I pray in the name of Jesus Christ as I speak your word today by reading it in the hearing of us, your people, your children, God, that clarity, that wisdom, knowledge, understanding of your word will come into every heart today. Bless us now, I pray. Heal us now, I pray. Deliver us now, I pray. Set us free now, I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, your son, and Lord, you get the glory, you get the praise, and you get the honor. Bless your children everywhere. Bless them 
in every nation and every island and every country and every continent of the world as we seek you lord in this hour as we seek your face as we trust in the lord our god as we lean not unto our own understanding father god but as we lean on you father god in the name of jesus christ you lord jesus direct our path thank you for your word today thank you for life today thank you for health today thank you for strength today in the name of jesus christ give me the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding even as i read this word in our hearing today in jesus christ's name i pray and god's people say amen and amen praise god so i would start and as he went out of the temple one of his disciples said unto him master see what manner of stones and what buildings are here and jesus answering said unto him seest thou these great buildings there there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down and as he sat upon the mount of olive over against the temple peter and james and john and andrew asked him privately tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled and jesus answering them began to say take heed lest any man deceive you for many shall come in my name saying i am christ and shall deceive many and when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars be not troubled be ye not troubled for such things must need be but the end shall not yet be let me read that again and when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars be ye not troubled for such things must need be but this but the end shall not be yet for nation shall rise against nation kingdom against kingdom and there shall be earthquakes in divers places and there shall be famine and troubles these are the beginning of sorrows but take heed to yourselves for they shall deliver you up to councils and in that in the synagogues ye shall be beaten and ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake for a testimony against them and the gospel must first be preached among all nations but when they shall lead you and deliver you up take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak neither do ye premeditate but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour that speak ye 
for it is not ye that speak but the Holy Ghost now the brother now the brother shall be tray the brother to death and the father the son and the children shall rise up against their parents and shall curse them to put and shall cause them to be put to death and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake but he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved but when ye shall see the abominations of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing where it or not let him that read it understand then let them that be in Judea flee to the mountains and let him that is on the housetop not go down into the house neither enter therein to take anything out of his house and let him that is on the, in the field not turn back again for to take up his garment but woe to them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days and pray ye that your flight be not in the winter for in those days shall be affliction such as such was not found from the beginning of the creation of God created unto this time neither shall be and except that the Lord had shortened those days no flesh should be saved but for the elect sake whom he had chosen he had shortened the days and then if any man shall go and and then if any man shall say to you lo here is christ or lo he is here he is there believe him not for false christ and false prophets has risen and shall show signs and wonders to seduce if it were possible even the elect but take ye heed behold i have foretold you all things but in those days after the tribulation the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars of heaven shall fall and the power that are in heaven shall be shaken and then shall there be the son of man and then shall they see the son of man coming in the clouds with great power and glory hallelujah and then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven now learn a parable of the fig tree when her branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves ye know that summer is near so ye in like manner 
when ye shall see these things come to pass know that it is nigh even at the doors verily i say unto you that this generation shall not pass till all these things be done heaven and earth shall pass away but my word shall not pass away but all but of that day and that hour know it no man no not the angels which are in heaven neither the son but the father take ye heed watch and pray for ye know not when the time is for the son of man is as a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and command the porter to watch watch ye therefore for ye know not when the master of the house cometh at evening or at midnight or excuse me at the cockering or at morning less cometh sudden let less coming suddenly he find you sleeping less coming suddenly he find you sleeping and what i say unto you i say unto all watch 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 my brothers and sisters i pray that this word of god bless you strengthen you most of all as we seek this word as we study this word and we learn for as we see as we can hear the wars and rumors of wars and we can see what is going on in israel today i pray my brothers and sisters in the name of jesus christ that we watch and we pray may god bless you may god strengthen you as we watch and pray for we don't know the hour that the son of man will come let us continue to watch and pray god bless you when you have some time get in the word read it for yourself may you be blessed in jesus name is my prayer amen and amen